Hello and welcome back to Unity Gurus. My name is Mahin. I am back with another Unity tutorial and in this one we will learn about ambient occlusion and how can we use them in Unity. So uh, basically what an ambient occlusion is, it's a method to create contact shadows between two objects or between two surfaces. There are two ways to use ambient occlusion in Unity. The first is a dynamic and the second one is baked. The dynamic ambient occlusion is calculated during the runtime of the game while the other baked ambient occlusion is used like a texture map which you can plug in a ambient occlusion node inside a material. To show you the first one method I have prepared a scene. Uh, you can go to asset store and download this sci-fi gun pack for free. I will give a link in the description. What I have done here uh, I go to their prefabs and I use one of their guns okay imported the one of their guns and I have applied a very basic material to this gun you can see here okay so right now you can see that the this gun is looking very flat and they're very basic contact shadow for example if you go into this area you can see that this area we don't see any details any grooves in there okay so how do we achieve that so the first method is uh, go to asset store and type post processing stack and import this one in C. I have already imported so I'm not going to import it again and if you are using unity 2018 or later then you can you need to you go to package manager and add from there after adding this post processing stack what I will do I will create a simple post processing profile call CC and apply a post processing behavior to my camera and I will plug this profile into this behavior okay and now in this profile let me turn on this fog there is an option called ambient occlusion so what would happen when I turn on this one you see we have uh, quickly see some contact shadow between these areas or these areas so you can increase this to high one to get some more contact shadows but still it's not looking that much good okay even if I increase the high, high intensity it's not looking that much great not for me okay how do we make this even better and without using this post processing profile which is very uh, costly while you're running on mobile platform so uh, to show you that second if method which is uh, a baked ambient occlusion method I go to my second scene and here's the same gun with same material same just a white pure white color but what I will do in this one I will use this occlusion channel or this occlusion node to plug a map into this one so what I have done I have already baked this ambient occlusion map inside the blender which I will show you in the end of this video after preparing this ambient occlusion map what I will do I will simply plug this AO into this occlusion slot and simply increase this intensity to one watch what will happen here great now it's looking much more realistic and you can have see every details of this gun every groove is now visible and the contact shadows are nice and you can also see all the detail from a distance so this is really nice and it will not affect uh, your game's performance as well the good thing about this map is that I have baked this map as a 1024 by 1024 resolution inside the blender. But what I can do here right now you can see that it's taking 1.3 MB memory space. So if you make uh, so many ambient occlusion maps for the games then it may be a little heavy for your game. But what you can do here you can reduce this max size to like 512 and there will be very subtle change in the detail of this gun. What would happen here? You see very very little impact on the detail of this object because now it has be become much more blurred and the more they blurred the softer the details here and it will not impact the quality of this gun because it's an indirect map it's not directly visible on the object also you can reduce it to more like 256 and it's still very less impact on the detail of this object and you can see now it's taking 85 kilobytes memory which is very less compared to the previous 1.3 megabytes and the details are intact you can hardly see any difference in this object 
And in this scenario, if I attach any texture to this albedo channel, for example, like, like this one, you can see that your texture is looking great even after applying the texture. And if you reduce the intensity of this occlusion zero, you can see, let me zoom in a bit. You can see that the difference in this window here, huge, huge impact on the detail of this object, huge impact. You can see next, I want to show you how I bake this one. So for that, I simply go to the meshes of this gun. So there it is. And this is the mesh of this gun. And I imported this mesh inside the blender. So to bake the occlusion map inside the blender, first go to file and import the FBX file. This is gun heavy file from the unity scene and import this one. Hit N and T to hide the other two panels. Then on another scene here, this one, switch this to UV image editor. And from here, solid box and select this one and go to edit mode so that you can see all the UVs of this object. Next, make a new image type AO and hit OK. Uh, right now, this is the black image. So once we will bake the ambient occlusion, you can see the details here and make sure to use Blender render then go to the, our render setting go to the bake option in the bake mode right let me scan it. in the bake mode go to ambient occlusion and click on normalize and hit bake uh, i think the default options are fine just hit the bake okay so there it is our ambient occlusion map so to save this image click save image as and save image wherever you want and this is our baked image right now it is a little bit noisy but you can reduce this noise inside the blender or you can use any image editing software like photoshop or gym to reduce the noise and import as a texture in unity and use in your materials so that's a quick tip to add a ambient occlusion channel for your 3d objects if you want to know anything about this process, you can ask me in the comment section. And if you like my video, feel free to like and subscribe. So once again, I would like to thank you guys for watching these videos. See you in the next video.